Hello friends, this video, pair of linear equations in two variables, part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched videos part 1 to part 16. Sometimes equation we get is of this form, for example, 2 by x, 3 by y is equal to 13, 5 by x minus 4 by y is equal to minus 2. Such kind of equations, it's difficult to solve. For example, in this equation, I will try to solve, this will become xy, denominator, this will become 2y plus 3x is equal to 13, right? Or you get 2y plus 3x is equal to 13xy. Now, since it is no longer linear equation, because the power is 2 here, it is quadratic equation, it will be difficult to solve. So, but in certain cases, we can reduce these equations to linear equation. Let's try this. So in such this case, let's suppose if 1 by x, instead of 1 by x, I say is equal to a and 1 by y is equal to let's suppose b. So this equation will become 2a plus 3b is equal to 30 and this equation will become 5a minus 4p is equal to minus 2. Correct? Now this is a linear equation. You can solve it. Let's solve it. Let me try with this method. So to cut this, let me multiply this by 5 and this by 2. So what I'll get? 10a plus 15b is equal to 65. This equation will be 10a minus 8b is equal to minus 4. Correct? Right? Subtract this, 30 minus minus 8 is equal to 21b is equal to 65 plus 4, 69. Or 65, 69, this is 5 into 3, 15, I think. 15, this becomes 23. So b is equal to nothing but b is equal to 69 by 23, that is 3. Similarly, you can take the value of a also. a is nothing but 2 into a plus 3 into b that is 3 is equal to 13, right? Or a is equal to 13 minus 9 by 2 that is nothing but 4 by 2, 2. So, I have got a and b. So, what I have got? a is equal to nothing but 1 by x and that is equal to 2 and b is nothing but 1 by y that is nothing but 3. Now, since I have 1 by x is equal to 2, I can say x is equal to 1 by 2. Correct? And 1 by y is equal to 3, I can say y is equal to 1 by 3. Thus, if you see, we have got the value of x and y. Very simple. What we have done, instead of making in quadratic equation, I have reduced this equation to a pair of linear equation and I solved it and got the answer. Instead of 1 by x, I wrote a. Instead of 1 by a, y, I wrote b. And thus I got the answer. Let's take one more example. If you see this equation, also if you try to solve it normally, this will become a quadratic equation. To solve it in a smarter way, what I'll do, I'll say 1 by x minus 1, this is equal to a, and 1 by y minus 2, this I'll say is equal to b. Correct? So the equation will be 5a plus b is equal to 2 and this equation will be 6a minus 3b is equal to 1. So I have got two equation, correct? Let me solve this. If I multiply this with 3, the coefficient of b will be 3 in both cases. So this becomes 15a plus 3b is equal to 6. And this is again same only 6a minus 3b is equal to 1. To add these two, b we cancel, b we cancel. 16 plus 5, 21. a is equal to 6 plus 1, 7. That's why a is nothing but 1 by 3. Since now I have a value of a, I can get the value of b. I'll put the value of a in this equation. 6 into a that is 1 by 3 minus 3b is equal to 1. 6 and 3, 2. What do we get? 3b is nothing but 1, that's why b is also 
1 by 3. Correct? So what I have got till now? A is equal to 1 by x minus 1 that is 1 by 3 and B is also equal to 1 by y minus 2 and that is also 1 by 3. So from this equation if you see I can write this is let's suppose equation number 3 and this is equation number 4. So from equation number 3 I can write x minus 1 is equal to 3 correct or I will say x equal to 4 and from equation number 4 I can say y minus 2 is equal to 3 or I will say y is equal to 5 and this is my answer but what I have done 1 by x minus 1 is equal to a 1 by y minus 2 is equal to b I have put this values thus I have converted this to a pair of linear equation in two variables solved it and got it. Now let's try solving some complex questions. The question is a boat goes 30 km upstream and 44 km downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours it can go 40 km upstream and 55 km downstream. We have to find the speed of boat in steel water and we have to find the speed of steel. See what happens is typically this boat this will sail in a river. This is a river let's say. The river will also have its velocity. So let's suppose that is Vr, velocity of river. And then there is the speed of boat that is called Vv. If river is going downstream, that means the boat is going downstream, that means if it is going with the river, right? So if it is going downstream, that means the river's velocity will help the boat. Correct? Because if the river is flowing in this direction, in the boat is also going in this direction, this is called downstream. So in that case, velocity of downstream, if you see, is nothing but velocity of river plus velocity of, in downstream, the total velocity is velocity of boat plus velocity of river. If you write velocity of boat plus river, boat plus, when it is going upstream, that means it is going against the current. So let's suppose in that case, the river will be flowing in this direction. It's going upstream. So in that case, the net velocity is nothing but velocity of boat minus velocity of river. Why? Because river is coming in this direction, in this river is coming in this direction, boat is going, this is boat, boat is going in this direction, right? So the net velocity will be velocity of boat minus velocity of river. Because the boat has to struggle and if river is in this direction and boat is also going in this direction, then total velocity adds. In case of downstream, the velocity adds, in case of upstream, the velocity is subtract. Now, if you understood this concept of velocity of downstream and velocity of upstream, where in case of downstream the velocity adds because the river is going with the the boat is going with the river so river speed is actually helping the boat right and in case of upstream the river is, the boat is going against the river's current so the it is an obstacle for the boat so in that case there is speed reduced and the net speed is vp minus br which is velocity of boat minus velocity of river and in case of downstream the net velocity is velocity of boat plus velocity of river please remember this because they are when a lot of questions comes with this pattern, so you have to remember this. Now the question says a boat goes 30 km upstream. So distance we know is nothing but distance by speed is nothing but time, right? So distance 30 km upstream. So distance is 30 km. Upstream speed is nothing but Vp minus Br. So let's suppose Vb is x and Vr is y. So just because we are uh, dealing with x and y, so let me suppose Vb is x and Vr is y. So distance by speed is nothing but, here we will put the speed. Speed is nothing but Vb plus Vr. So I have put, I am assuming boat speed is x and river speed is y. Just because we are more convenient with x and y, I will put Vb is equal to x and Vr is equal to y. So this speed upstream is nothing but subtraction, right? Because the river has the boat has struggled. So distance by speed. That is time taken for upstream plus 44 km downstream. That is 44 distance by downstream is x plus 5. Because we'll add this total time. Time 1 plus time 2. Total time is 10 hours. This is my equation 1. That is the Upstream time plus downstream time is 10 hours. In second scenario, it takes 13 hours where 40 kilometers is upstream. So upstream the velocity subtracts 
and 15, 55 kilometer is the downstream, 55 by x minus plus 5 and this is nothing but 13 hours. What we have done, distance by speed is equal to time we know. This is the time taken for upstream, times taken from time stream. Times taken from upstream plus times taken for downstream, total time is the 10 hours. In case 2, time taken for upstream plus time taken for downstream, total hour is 13 hours. This also if you see, this also if you see, if you try to solve this, it becomes complex. So we will try to convert this or reduce this to the linear equation. What I will do, I will say 1 by x minus y is equal to a and 1 by x plus y is equal to b. So my equation turns out to be 30a plus 44b is equal to 10, first equation and 40a plus 55b is equal to 30. Second equation. So we have got these two equations. Now let me solve this. This is 30, this is 40. If I multiply this by 4, this becomes 120. And if I multiply with this by 4, this becomes 1, 3. This becomes 120. So I can cancel the a part. So what I'll get final is 120a plus 44 into 4 is 176b, right, minus or is equal to 40 and the second equation is 120a plus 55 into 3 is 165b is equal to 13 into 3 is 39, correct. Now B part, B part is cancel. So what I'll get? 176 minus 65 is 11. B is equal to 1. So what I'll get? 11B is equal to 1. So I'll get B is equal to 1 by 11. So I'll put B is equal to 1 by 11 in one of the equation. So I'll get 30A plus 44 into B is equal to nothing but 1 by 11 is equal to 10. This gets cancelled, this becomes 4. A is nothing but 10 minus 4 is 6 by 30, that is 1 by 5. So what I got, A is nothing but 1 by x minus y, that is nothing but 1 by 5, correct. B is nothing but 1 by x plus y, that is nothing but 1 by 11. So now I have got two more equations. If you see this is also equation. So the equation I have got is now something but x plus y is equal to 11 and x minus y is equal to 5. Now I have to again solve this equation because I have to find x and y. So I will just add these two equations. This is gone, y by gone. I get 2x is equal to 16 or I will get x is equal to 8 km per hour. Now I have the value of x, uh, x, I can find the value of y by putting in this equation. So I will get 8 plus y, that is x plus y is equal to 11, is equal to 11 or I will get y is equal to 3, 3 km per hour. So I have the value of x, I have the value of y, y is 3 km per hour and that is my answer. That is x is nothing but velocity of boat, so velocity of boat in still water is 8 km per hour and y is nothing but velocity of river or velocity of uh, stream that is nothing but 3 km per hour. What we have done, we have first understood the logic of downstream and upstream. In downstream the velocity adds, in upstream the velocity subtracts. We know distance by speed equal to time. We found time for upstream, we found time for downstream in the first case, total time was 10. Second case also we found time for upstream, found time for downstream total time was 13. Now we, this equation was not a linear equation. We converted this into linear equation by putting 1 by x minus a as x minus y as a and 1 by x plus y as b. We got this linear equation. We solved this linear equation to got the value of a and b and then we found that we found number equation in x and y. Right? And then we solved this equation to get x is equal to 8 km per hour and y is equal to 3 km per hour. Let's take one. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, 
try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.